Melissa and Aaron here, and this video is about shaming this guy. Shame, shame, shame. What an ugly soul. Shame. shame on you. It's disgusting. I mean, this Bayer CEO won't use his drugs to actually save lives. That's supposedly the whole point. They're in business, and the whole world's been taken over by these companies. They've displaced real medicine. They've ignored the side effects, swept them under the rug, and told you it's safe to take vaccines and their pills, and look what they do with it. Yeah, check this out. This guy, Deckers here, was quoted in Bloomberg Businessweek for saying that his new cancer drug at his company, Nexavar, isn't, quote, for Indians, but, quote, for Western patients who can afford it. Apparently, this drug is for late-stage kidney and liver cancer, and it costs $69,000 a year in India. So that in March 2012, the Indian court actually granted a license to an Indian company to produce the drug at a 97% discount because, oh, I don't know, I guess they were thinking they might actually try and get the drug to the people that needed it so that someone could actually afford to take it and have their life actually saved by it, if it even does that. But anyways, apparently Bayer sued, and in March of last year, the high court in Mumbai denied their appeal. And the Bayer CEO here called the compulsory license issued by the Indian court, quote, essentially theft, and then said, quote, we did not develop this medicine for Indians. We developed it for Western patients who can afford it. Shame. I feel sorry for your mom for having given birth to you. I do. I'm about to send her a condolence card that you're her son. I really will. I'm going to go to Hallmark and I'm going to get a card. I'm going to get a special card with little flowers on it that says that I feel really sorry for her. And she has all of my sympathies for having born you into this world. You're a horrible, horrible excuse for a human being. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. You a douche. These people are disgusting. You think that's a bad thing to say? Apparently it costs $96,000 a year here in the United States, but Bayer assures their, quote, Western patients that they have access to the drug for a $100 copay. In other words, they're going to dump the cost out on the diffused insurance market. Can you believe he said that stuff out loud? I can, because they've done this kind of shameful stuff in other cases. Remember when Gore was running for president and it turned out some of his campaign contributors had developed an AIDS drug that they refused to let South Africans have for a discount price? because so many of them are poor. Oh, and they actually have AIDS. <laughs> the vast I mean, majority of the AIDS cases of the world, but they wouldn't allow them access to the drug at the discounted, non-copyrighted price. So it's kind of like, why don't you just die because you're not rich enough? I mean, why even make a drug if it's not going to go to the people that are actually have the disease that it's supposed to help with? But Bayer, if you remember, has all kinds of ties to the Nazis. Bayer was literally part of IG Farben, which literally translates to the syndicate, a.k.a. the cartel. It was the largest syndicate cartel of chemical and pharmaceutical companies in the world, and they did use slave labor, and they produced Cyclone B, and they had all kinds of really nasty business practices. Prince Bernhard of the Bilderberg Group was a member, and after the war, IG Farben broke up, and Bayer and BASF and the other companies continued to do business. Here they are today. But look, they apologized. They said they're sorry. They're sorry that they did that. Hey everybody, isn't it good to know that your kids' Flintstone vitamins come from the same company that helped make Zyklon B gas? I wonder if they're also sorry for in the 1980s knowingly shipping out AIDS-tainted uh, Factor VIII hemophiliac drugs to the developing world after they couldn't sell it in the Western world. And the FDA approved it. And apparently it went out and sickened and even killed thousands of people, especially children. And way back in 1984, the New York Times did an expose on it and found that they knew all about it. The FDA approved it, and it was all just to save a couple million dollars. Yeah, and apparently, according to the New York Times, the Food and Drug Administration's regulator of blood products, Dr. Harry M. Meyer Jr., actually asked that the issue be, quote, quietly solved without alerting the Congress, the medical community, and the public. In other words, don't tell the public what's really going on. And of course, they played it off as, well, the decisions were made on the best scientific information at the time, and it was consistent with the regulations in place. Oh, their best information at the time said it was fine to ship out AIDS-tainted uh, hemophiliac <laughs> drugs? The best scientific information that they bought when they paid their scientists to do the science. I guess they should have done a long-term study. Just 
this is a whole track record of shame and shame on us too for letting these pharmaceutical companies take power for trusting them for popping their pills for diseases that we could probably avoid through better nutrition look at what is produced by trusting these kind of d bags these kind of disgusting human beings who would make these kind of statements that they don't produce drugs for poor people i mean don't you want to give your whole paycheck to this guy because obviously he's all about saving your life and not about making tons of money what a piece of sh